My father walked in, holding something carefully in his hands. When I looked closer, I saw that it was a tiny, cute squirrel. She was still blind, so she must have been weeks, if not days old. We brought her to the same spot where we found her, in hopes that the mother would come back to pick up the baby. We waited for several hours, but nobody came by. Since then, she's been living with us. For the first few days, she was sleeping all the time. We were feeding her kitten milk replacement. Every time you're feeding a small squirrel, there is always a risk of it getting choked. And that's what happened. She was suffocating and started to cough blood. I was in shock. We rushed her to the clinic as fast as we could. She started to develop pneumonia. The vets gave her antibiotics and put her in an oxygen mask. I really thought we might lose her. But she slowly started to recover. Since day one, she's been spending most of her time in our hands. She sleeps in our pockets, climbs us like trees. She loves climbing the curtains, but she's a home squirrel. So when she gets a little too high, she can't really jump down. And we have to take her down with a mop. Belka is super positive and cute. She gets naughty sometimes. Everything that can be turned over or thrown are her potential targets. Like my favorite flower pot. But with those eyes, I can't stay mad at her. Oh, Lord have mercy. Mm -mm -mm. Today drained me. We are super lucky to live with her every day.